All right, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to be testing the XPR4 power supply. This is a scaled down version of the two kilowatt high voltage charger that's gonna be uh, in the XPR4. Uh, this is probably one of the most advanced uh, compact power supplies in the world right now. Um, and so this thing is not connected to AC. I've got a USB cord in here to control the microcontroller. This whole thing is powered by a uh, 6S LiPo battery. This is supplying power to the whole system right now. This is the main control board. I've got an SCR discharge switch here so I can manually discharge the capacitors. This is an emergency dump resistor. This is where I'm going to dump all the energy once the capacitor is charged. This is the actual charging unit. This takes uh, 25 volts in and outputs 500 volts. 500 volts travels up these wires and into the capacitor. There's an oscilloscope probe on that. I have the oscilloscope here. And I'm going to set this to uh, two seconds time scale. So you'll be able to see the capacitor voltage rise. Now this is a 1200 microfarad, 500 volt rated capacitor. This is one of four that will be used in the railgun. And as you can see, the scale on this graph is 100 volts per division. So when the line gets up to here, it'll be fully charged. N normally, with most other capacitor chargers, it would take minutes to charge up this entire capacitor. With this one, with this system, you can charge an entire railgun capacitor in less than three seconds. And it's fully software defined. So I'm not touching anything right now. This is only controlled by a computer. And the computer is controlling the uh, USB. So, check this out. 500 volts in less than three seconds. And it automatically shuts down. So now we're at 500 volts. Let's turn this guy off so I can go and probe how long it took. And now let's just go ahead and discharge using the SCR. As you can see, the voltage dropping off now. And we're back down to zero. Right, so let's try that one more time. Starting charge. and discharge. Alright, thanks for watching.